What's up, fellas? What's going on? So, uh, today I'm over here with my uh, Chevy C3500 HD, you and me, with um, two-wheel drive, with a small engine here, the 7.4, 454. Uh, this thing does about 100 gallons uh, per mile. I'm just kidding guys, you know this is a, a gas guzzler, good truck though, pulls good. So today I have a little dilemma here, which is try to change my crank sensor and as, as you know, it's broken. This is how the new one looks, this is how the new one looks, right here. And this one broke so now if one that happened to you let's look over here underneath so the crank sensor goes right there take the light a little bit away from it like that so it goes right here so this is actually a part of the crank sensor that's still there so if this happens to you do not panic we are trained professionals <laughs> not because if we were professionals that wouldn't happen so what you do is you want to wait for your engine to be a uh, cool and then what you do is right behind the crank sensor like this you'll start prying nice and easy to come out then you go on top Oh, I just got something in my eye. Right there. Keep twisting. Keep shaking. This one is... Right there. Keep twisting, nice and easy. Don't panic, boys. Or girl. Or girls. You got one. Uh, flathead screwdriver oh that's my head and you keep working at it out like this nice and easy see it and eventually it will come out of there right you hope let's hope what do you guys want me to do Sing the song while we wait for this to come out. Which song should I sing? Heal the world. I ain't singing Michael Jackson right now. All right. Shall you get us? Oh. All right. So I'm going to work it over here outside the camera and I'll come back while we almost I almost take this whole thing out but if you keep wiggling wiggling if that's a word ah, shooties come out it will come out this thing was filthy I was having some long cranks Oh, look at that on camera, guys. Took it a while. <laughs> look at that. A little. I don't know. That's not bad. So, um, there's a crank sensor. It's all supposed to look in the hole in there. Let's see if I can get the light. Nice for you guys. Very nice. Alright, right there. And then you slap the new one in there. Clean all the crap that's in your wires. <laughs> oh my god. Can I please get a side of grease? inside my connectors 
Man, what's going on here? Anyways, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut these wires, obviously, obviously, before we start this job, let's rewind. <laughs> we wanna disconnect our battery from the negative, which is the black wire from your battery before you start playing with this stuff because I believe one of these right here I believe this is the middle one I think this is the ground that goes straight to your ECM your computer so you don't want to send any weird feelings to your computer because you might have to go get a new one later so that was the dilemma for today guys a piece of well a, a part of the uh, crank sensor was stuck in there and I'm so glad so glad that wasn't just a side piece because I was gonna cry to my mama all right so uh, we're gonna come back we're gonna clean this up a little bit uh, we are going to reinstall it And uh, I'll come back. 